Hello there folks, Kirk here with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Today what we're going to do is a color coat maintenance free finish over this home. I'll show you some of the prep work that's necessary in order to do what we're going to do. Alright, this area here is an addition. Obviously, this is a three coat system. It's done with a heavy float finish. It was done um, several years ago. This area here, the whole area, is a two coat system. It was done about 70, 80 years ago. Up top, well, say for example, this window here. This is a patch job done by one fella. If you could zero in up there, Jay, that's done by another company. There's various patches all throughout the house. A lot of different guys. Our job is to, they want to give the house a hacienda look. I've done several samples all around the house. This is the one they like here because what we're going to do today is we're going to pressure wash the house. We're setting staging right now and we're going to cover all the windows and apply a bonding agent directly to the house. Then when we get to that stage a couple days from now uh, when there's no rain forecast we're going to come and we're going to do a La Habra maintenance free color finish over everything with this particular texture. This way we blend all these different finishes into one uniform finish. All right, we're using Weldcrete as our bonding agent here. Jason is, uh, see that blue stuff? That blue stuff there is called Weldcrete. We roll it on, then we use our brush to cut in everything, and usually if we see any um, uh, cracks, we'll gouge the cracks sometimes. Then we'll place a fiber mesh tape over the cracks also. Okay guys, we are now doing a La Habra cemented finish. It's not an acrylic. A couple guys are spreading. And Jason is generally floating behind us. Why do we have to float after we put our base coat on? Because to remove the holiday. Here's what we do. We float everything. Two guys spread. One guy floats behind them. And again, what this does is because this wall is so bumpy, and this is the front where it's not as bumpy as the rear, you spread it, and if you just test it out over, you'll see holidays. So the float takes out the holidays. And now that these guys, Tim down here and Jake, these guys are veterans. They're great plasterers. they with me many, many years. Okay, I'll show you what I'm doing. Now I'm putting a texture on. And they're not going with a Spanish lace. They're going with an adobe. It's more of um, a custom. So here's what they would like. Maybe I'll put them right here. Very heavy. And generally what I'll do is I'll go up one way. Right here I'm going up. Then I'll take it sideways. And I'm leaving a lot of texture. Up, sideways. If I start here, I don't want the straight line. So now I'll, I'll take it sideways. All right, guys. This We're not in the, the scalpel way here. So I can demonstrate a bit better. We're coming up, and then I'm going sideways. Here's what you don't want to do. Fella, I see a fella, sometimes they do this. They start at the same place. And then when everything, you see a straight line. You don't want to do that. What you do is you stagger your texture. You come here, you come this way. And if you're coming this way there, then you come this way here. And just stagger the texture for this adobe texture. If we were doing a different finish, such as any one of the number of skip trials, then we could we have a different pattern. This particular one is it's actually very simple, but it does take a lot of use of the tools, a lot of practice. And then we hit it a little bit. Here's another tip, guys. We have all this broken grout up here where we're tying this um, roof tile in. You can use a brush. I'm brushing it on right here. And notice that blue is weld creep. Uh, it will adhere to the grout, but it won't adhere to the painted surface there. And what I'm doing is I'm just making it so as the grout has been changed so many times. There's, there's lots of things, imperfections on this job. So we're just protecting everything while we're here. Another thing, folks, this thing here, pipe trout. The fellows who did these columns here never got in the back because I guess they didn't know how to use these. You can go up this way or that way and that way we don't have a trowel to go inside here so we use a pipe trowel to get in there see how that is it works way inside there 
and a fella just come by and said, that's a nice skip trowel. I said, it's not a skip trowel, it's uh, an adobe. And he says, what the heck's the difference? Well, a skip trowel is more of a skip. This, I'm going to use a word I don't use. This is more pancake-ish. It's more pancake-ish than a, a, a skip. And with the hacienda front, when we pull all this stuff off here, a lot of tile here. So this, this finish works extremely well with this house. Hacienda, everything is sharp and jagged, so I'm not taking my floats and floating these corners. I'm leaving them all somewhat sharp and jagged. That way, it gives more of that hacienda look. All right, folks, there you have it. We're complete with this uh, color coat. You want to be a big time contractor, this is how you do it. Uh, we left my house at 5.30, got here about 7.30 after material yard. It's almost 6 p.m. We haven't stopped for lunch or breaks because we're in a hurry today. Walk through here, please. You can see. <clears throat> okay, the lighter areas are where it's still drying. Where it's darker, it's wet. We'll take you a quick walk around. We're still cleaning up around here. We got this back side. A lot of vines, a lot of pillars. We've got these uh, square pillars here. We've got the round pillars over here. Those are kind of fun. Going through all of this um, Oleanders or uh, whatever that, that stuff is, that was a challenge. What's going on, fellas? We got the garage here. That's Tim and Jake. Man, those guys are quality plasterers. All right, and take a peek right here. We got these round pillars here. These were kind of fun to do. Then uh, walk, yeah, there you go. Walk that way. So I guess Anyhow, you guys get the idea. Notice this right here. This concrete. This is stamped concrete. It's it's maintenance free. Where it's wet, it darkens. It's like our color coat because it's maintenance free. It's like the house next door. That's maintenance free also. Uh, anyhow, my name's Kirk. I'm with Kirk Giordano Plastering. Thank you folks for watching. We've got about half hour daylight left. We'll see you guys on the next one.